Welcome to Covenant Keepers Ministries, and our video devotional for today is, is going to talk about the floods. And we're in the end of the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, 24 through 27, and, and I believe we've got a great word of encouragement for you today. It says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rains descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rains descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall. And so we're, we're looking at this part where Jesus had talked about the foolish versus the wise. and The basis of it is what's your foundation? Because if you have a proper foundation, it will equal an eternal dwelling. But if you don't have the proper foundation, you'll never get to the eternal dwelling. You're going to be swept away with the sifting sands of time. So we looked at the winds and I, I, the rain, excuse me, yesterday. And I, I think the rain really represents things that happen to us in life that <clears throat> we, won't, we weren't prepared for. We didn't really plan for illness, for instance. But the floods... I. I'm going to give you my opinion on this. I think the floods, using that term is in, in its biblical sense, I believe it, it's referring to the world. In general, the floods represent the world, the worldly outlook, the world, the world type of life, the worldly type of life. Whether we like it or not, whether we're nominal Christians or, as we talked about last week, or, or whether we're just uh, uh, pretend believers, the world comes against every house, every life. The world's coming against your life all the time. The pressures of the world are pushing in against us all the time. The floods of life, they beat against us. They, they're incessant. The pressures of the world just constantly beating on us. The immorality, the evil, the demonic the devilish, whatever term you want to use. So if you look at what the scripture says in 1 John 2, 15 through 17, it's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These are the things that are coming against us all the time, as well as the things in the world. I mean, have we not been watching a, a, such a divisive spirit in the political realm in our nation? And and the accusations that are being tossed in, and can ruin a person's life. True or false, doesn't matter. Whether you, you make an accusation against someone, if it's true or false, it doesn't matter. Because the reputation's already gone. The attack's already come. Every one of us faces this. Even if we're not in the political arena, we face it. Somebody says something about us. The devil whispers in our ear. Tells us that we're not worthy. God doesn't love us. You just screwed up again. You sinned the same sin. You promised God you'd never sin again. And, and we're bombarded by evil every day. We're bombarded by the devil. We're bombarded by our own lust. And, and so what happens to us is we, instead of showing up, instead of standing firm, the world starts seeping in through cracks and crevices slowly begins to make its way in our life and we start compromising at little corners little turns we we tell a little lie we call it a little lie but it's still a lie it still was a falsehood it still is the opposite of the integrity of god it still is rebellion against god and the next thing you know we're telling another one and and before you know it we just the world has begun to fill our life instead of the holiness and the purity and the power of God filling our life. And when now we we still call ourselves a believer and a follower of Christ, but man, we are so worldly. We have no convictions there. Really, we just go with the flow. I would tell you there's no end to the forms that the world's attack, the floods of life come against us. Pressure all the way. And the damage that's constantly being done to the exterior. I was with my granddaughters the other day traveling in a car. And, and we we're looking at these, these garages for apartments. And they're made out of wood siding. And they're, they're uh, vertical wood siding, not horizontal. And they, they have grass right up against the wood. And 
so they water this grass and the water has actually taken the paint off the wood and you can see the wood is rotting away and and this is how the world comes against us slowly but surely the the pressures from the outside begin to rot away our protection and our shield and and we start giving in into the to the lust of our flesh and the lust of our eyes and the pride of our life and we we start lowering our standards and and the flood keeps coming and we lower them a little bit more and the flood comes again and we lower them a little bit more it's like our house is being rocked. Our lives are being rocked. The, the pressure of the world, the power of the world can be so great that we wonder at times whether our foundation is going to hold. I'm here to tell you today, this is the encouraging word. You put your house on the rock and your house will stand. You stick yourself in the word of God. You stay there. You hunger and thirst for righteousness and you're going to be filled with righteousness. You're going to be able to withstand the floods of the world. The pressure, the evil, the constant heathen, demonic, devilish pressure. You're going to be able to withstand it. Because your house has been built on a rock. Floods are coming. Floods coming every day. Pressure's there all the time. The world system is pushing us, trying to get us out of the mold of reflecting Jesus Christ in our life. You're not going to let it happen. Because your foundation roots go deep, deep, deep into Jesus Christ. Stay there. Don't run. Don't hide. God bless you as you do. Father, gird us up by the Holy Spirit today. Strengthen us all might according to your glorious power. Fill us up with the knowledge of your will that we may walk well pleasing in your sight with patience. Thank you. We will not give in, we'll not give up, and we'll not fall back. We're going forward with you, Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit in your name. Amen. Be blessed. Stand up strong. You're anchored deep in Jesus. Have a great day.